He faces the giant Italian Primo Canera. New York, 12th of October, 1931. A crowd of 40,000 in Brooklyn, and it's make or break night perhaps for Jack Sharkey, and in a sense also for the enormous figure of Primo Carnera. Saw the trademark right uppercut fired in in the opening seconds from the huge Italian, 24 years old. A lot of people have been saying that in those 50 fights he's had so far, 47 of them producing victories, many of, many of his opponents have not exactly been out of the top draw. Sharkey, a lackluster performance against the middleweight champion Mickey Walker in his last fight, only fighting a draw against him, and of course had that disqualification defeat last year in the world title fight against Max Schmeling, and Carnera started well. Nearly six inches taller. Sharkey, an orthodox sort of fighter, Very competent, neat practitioner. Carnera, in contrast, relies on his freakish strength and those big roundhouse hooks in the uppercuts. Sharkey, four years older. He's in his 46th professional fight. 34 of them bringing victories. And Sharkey certainly starting the favourites here. Carnera picking up punches with that left hand. And Sharkey's going to have to do something to negate the reach advantage. Nice crisp counter from Sharkey, the left hand. But Carnera certainly throwing more punches in this opening round. Contest scheduled to go 15. Oh, good right hand again from Carnera. A couple of jabs from the Italian and following up with the right uppercut. And that's going to spell big danger for Sharkey if Carnera really connects. Well, close opening round. And that was the pattern for the first three. Into the fourth now. And not much between them. Sharkey having to perhaps increase the pace. Carnera may be edged the opening three rounds. Pawing left jab, just picking away at Sharkey's face. Sharkey not doing too much at the moment. Carnera just flicking away with the jab. Sharkey trying to find a way of getting in close. Carnera can look ponderous, but he's nevertheless picking his man off with those jabs. Oh, good shot from Sharkey. Great left hand, and that was absolutely out of the blue. 
Well, the great hope from Italy is up to his feet, and he's going down again. Well, Sharkey gets in there, he's pushing the referee, and the referee, Ed Smith, really looks as though he's lost control in there. What on earth is happening? He's finally waving Sharkey in, and Carnera has been given precious seconds in which to recover. Now, can Sharkey follow it up? The great hope, Carnera. He looks as though he's regained his senses pretty well, but it was a tremendous left hand, and Sharkey's going in there looking for another one, but the bell has come not a second too soon for Carnera. Fifth round of 15. Jack Sharkey now really knows that he can hurt Primo Carnera. Oh, and he almost put him away again with a right over the top. Anxious times once again for the Italian. Now Carnera just wants to try and ride out the storm and Sharkey, for his part, has to try and pick his shots. He doesn't want to punch himself out. Again looking for the power shot, the left hook. But Carnera's wise to it this time. Canera's regained his sense as well. Sticking out that left jab. Sharky knows that for all the bulk of Carnera, oh, and that's another left hand, for all his bulk, he can be tagged. Carnera looks particularly vulnerable to the left hook. Sharkey just swaying out of harm's way and then trying to leap in behind that left hand. Eighth round into the second half of the fight. And since that knockdown, Primo Carnera has come back pretty well. Sharkey wildly flailing away, trying to leap in. Perhaps wisely, not getting involved in close quarter fighting where Carnera's superior strength may be and his greater weights would tell. work there from Sharkey in close and Carnera gave the referee a little bit of a look as much as to say you're going to let him get away with that Again, the head goes in close from Sharkey. Carnera's inexperience may be showing just a little bit in those clinches. 
doesn't tie his man up quite as effectively as he might. Bullying Sharkey back. And this has been Carnera's round for me. Ninth round of the 15. Very quiet spell of the fight this for Jack Sharkey. And Carnera, despite the knockdown, maybe at this stage, is just starting to edge clear once more. And Sharkey doing precious little. Carnera just pawing away with that jab. Nothing really coming back from Sharkey. <laughs> Carnera ever mindful, ever watchful of that left hand which put him on the canvas. a low-key performance from Sharkey in his last fight and here again he's failing to find the fireworks but there goes a good left hand well now maybe that'll encourage him perhaps Sharkey at last now will up the tempo and he's going looking for Carnera who looks uncertain and unsteady again the referee has to untangle him from the ropes Sharkey. He's got plenty of support at ringside. The left hook again and again is the big shot he's trying to tag Carnera with. After two or three rounds of relative inactivity, Jack Sharkey has come on strong again now. So to the 10th. And Sharkey, having clearly won the 9th, will want to keep that impetus going. seems to have run out of ideas in there good right hand from Sharkey and they were just pawing away with the left jab not able to throw Sharkey around as he has done so many of his opponents limited or otherwise and coming over the top not even working for the opening just launching himself with great swings Carnera just plodding after Sharkey so little variety about what he's doing now.
Last a combination from Carnera. Not seen one of those for a while. Fairly uninspiring round, which Sharkey is probably edging. Left hand again just shows signs of wobbling Carnera, and that's another round to Jack Sharkey. Carnera's left jab, just an irritant. Sharky leaps forward. Not too many power shots being thrown by the Italian now. Relying on that nagging, pawing left jab. Carnera with his back to us, spearing Sharky once more. And Sharky just content to backpedal, waiting for the opportunity for the hook, which he throws there. Carnera is just so big, it's difficult for Sharkey to get in there and get to him. Carnera just pushing him away when he tries to throw to the body. And when he's throwing to the head, he almost has to throw in mid-air, Jack Sharkey. Well, untidy stuff once more. Jack Sharkey must be getting very frustrated, I'm sure. normally an orthodox sort of fighter and he's not getting really too much opportunity to show his skills goes back with a good left hook though and tries to follow up with another one Sharky at last gets through Not a great deal in that jab of Carnera's. Just an irritant. Thirteenth round, only three to go. whether that knockdown might just prove decisive for Sharkey and Carnera still seems wary of the power of the American I don't think even the greatest friends of these two could argue that this had been a classic. Good right hand from Carnera. And at last Carnera just starting to snap the jab a little bit more effectively. And a good left hand as well. Well, this is Carnera's best work for some time.
Sharkey fainting to throw an awful lot of punches, but actually throwing virtually nothing. Good left hand from Carnera. It's rocked back Sharkey's head. Great learning exercise for Primo Carnera this fight. Even if he were to fail to get the verdict, if it goes the distance, that is. He's in against a real wily practitioner. <laughs> Shall we dance? Well, this has been Carnera's round. So just two to go. Primo Carnera, for me, took the 13th. Can he keep up his attack? Sharky's still trying to stay busy. has not been able to keep up the attack of the 13th so far. Sharkey providing an elusive, mobile target, just bobbing around. And then still managing to throw the odd crisp punch of his own. I'm sure the crowd would like a little bit more toe-to-toe -to -toe action. Be interesting to know what sort of instructions were coming from the corners now. Does Sharky think he's done enough to win this on points? Good right hand. jab from Sharkey. By and large, Jack Sharkey has managed to stop Carnera throwing his real power punches. 39 of Carnera's 47 wins have come by way of knockout. So he's a proven puncher. And so just one round to go. Two men touch gloves. And Sharky started fast. Jack Sharkey, who had the knockdown in the fourth. Not too many people would have thought this would have gone the distance at that stage. still plods forward. Oh, 
that's a good shot from Sharkey. Oh, and another one, and Carnera suddenly, suddenly in anxious times once more. Two good, solid right hands. And Carnera's struggling in this closing round. Is Sharkey going to take him out after all? Big last round for 28-year-old Jack Sharkey. Former sailor from Boston. Hammers Carnera again with a left hand. Carnera somehow managing to stay upright. Nothing coming back from the Italian now. Just a question of him seeing it through to the final bell. And almost put over by a straight left there. Sharkey still fancying his chances of finishing this fight in the closing seconds. It's been a grandstand finish and surely has been enough to win it. And Sharkey certainly thinks he's won it and there can be no doubt, surely. He goes over and has a word with Carnera, but Jack Sharkey will have taken this fight and taken it fairly comfortably on points.